You old amorotic pinhead, act like the thing is not dead, and didn't run into a brick wall and full tilt already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze too straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give. For second thoughts that you're stuck with, looking for loopholes and wondering what if. Dzień dobry, witam was bardzo serdecznie, jestem Szal 62, to jest kolejny odcinek z Deponia Dumuzde. Okay. I... Please, let's not stick around here for too long. That elephant could still be close by. I sure hope so. I'll put a knot in its trunk so that it never forgets what happens when you mess with Rufus. It is definitely still here. I'm completely certain now. Whatever you saw there is traveling through time. So that's why it's always one step ahead of us. Or behind. Difficult to say. I think I'm feeling sick again. Drink up, Tuck. Time to hunt elephants. Okay, no to w takim razie musimy upolować różowego słonia. I found a clue. I can only see a shard. And that, my dear McNickerbocker, is why you will never be anything more than an assistant. He should pay more attention. If half the class has to repeat the test, that won't reflect well on my teaching methods. He's literally trembling with curiosity. And I, as his mentor, do not intend to disappoint him. <laughs> what have you got there? A clue. A clue is still not proof. Oh, that, my dear friend, the tabloids have yet to decide. Strange. The shard glows here. Really? Then there's got to be a radiation source close by. Wait. Well, hello there. Aha! Uh -huh. Elephant skin. As far as I know, elephants don't shed their skins. Yeah, yeah. First you refuse to believe in pink elephants, and now all of a sudden you're an expert. Well, to me, that just looks like an ordinary bit of cloth. And the mysterious glow? My guess is tachyon radiation. It happens when matter is moved backwards through time. I'm measuring traces of it in the whole area here, and the broken shard has shifted it into the visible spectrum. Look, if I wanted a lecture, I'd buy myself a ticket for the university. There are no tickets to get to university, merely the numerous clauses. Right, and on Junker's Eve, he comes flying over the roofs, bringing gifts. I mean, if that's the kind of crap you teach your students... Wait a minute, did you say traces? Did I say that? Yes, of course. We can use the shard to make the tatzel worm radiation visible. Come on, I have an idea. Okay. Jim and Tom. Często tu chyba chodził. Hmm. 
tylko po jego śladach chyba na to wychodzi ha? Przejdziecie tam ani nic. No dobra, chodźmy tutaj. Chodzi na to, że musimy tu iść. Serio, takie coś musiałem zrobić. Boż. Widzicie to. O Boże, no co za... Secret lever, gentlemen. I present the secret elephant hideout. Okay, seriously, Mac. How do you always do that da 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 thing? Huh? Dab whatever. There are more important secrets to reveal. Stay behind me. Okay. 
Wow, that must be the remains of the abandoned mall. Emphasis on abandoned. Exactly. There's no one here. Let's go. One moment. You see that tunnel there? The specimen has used it, and it wasn't that long ago. Then maybe it's still here. Hurrah. The Bull Elephant Hideout is a china shop. Talk about your pseudo-poetic nonsense. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> hey, how cool is that? <laughs> Talk about ridiculous. McChronicle is really going for it. Tuck has his work cut out for him if he wants to be employee of the month. He seems nervous. He's not going sober on me now. Just when I need him the most, is he? It's so spooky here. Aha! Uh -huh. Uncannily exciting. Bit too exciting for my taste. Well, I'm not staying here alone without a weapon. Hmm. The signal is getting weaker. We need to hurry if we're to nab your phantom elephant. Typical. As soon as he gets rash, it's all of a sudden my phantom elephant. Let's go. I'll go this way. McChronicle, you take the other path. And what about me? Yeah, you guard the entrance. What? Alone? Am I at least going to be given a weapon? What kind of weapon? Well, any weapon. I've been beaten up enough for one day. No, doctor. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song off by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work, went wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think... Okay. Let's go. Chodźmy tu, tu się otworzyło przejście. Oh, uh, don't be too hard on him. He's a good lad. He is not. You only like him because he's your best customer. Oh, he he normally just puts everything on your tab. Talking of which, how's your store doing? <sighs> Ding dong. Am I, uh, interrupting by any chance? No, you do it on purpose. Kid gloves, Rufus! <laughs> I don't want naked flames in my store. Don't worry, Bernard. I'm, uh, I'm, ca I'm, you know, I'm thingy. Uh, careful? Uh, no, the other one. Hey, Tony. <sighs> It wasn't me! Oh, really? So you didn't swap my toothpaste for shoe polish? Oh, so that's toothpaste. Or the cake for the Schwinowitz wedding for a foam glue replica? Again, not me. Or the bear trap in the refrigerator. Was that someone else, too? No, that was me. Someone had to do something about the mysterious cake exchanger. And your theory was that a bear was raiding our refrigerator at night. And he sold your diary to Wenzel. Precisely. And I'm sure the glasses are the bear's fault too, right? No, no, that really wasn't me. So who was it? Well, Tuck was supposed to watch out. You let a hobo look after my most valuable possession? Well, at least he knows all about glasses, right? Ah! This is all McChronicle's fault. Who the heck is McChronicle? Some guy with a time machine. I'm jealous. Could you ask him to turn time back so that I don't have to listen to you lie anymore? It was a pink elephant. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more disappointing, that you broke the glasses or that you aren't even making the slightest effort with your excuses. The pink elephant really exists. Uh, Rufus? 
I could see you're trying very hard to smooth things over, but uh, could I suggest that you keep quiet about the elephant story for now? You're just making it worse. Nah, it may appear that way to a layman. In reality, I'm just taking a run-up. I blame society. You blame society for breaking my grandma's glasses? Oh, oh, that's what this is all about. I thought we were talking about adolescent attention spans. It's your own fault. Excuse me? You heard me. Who comes up with the bright idea to build a pyramid of crystal glasses in the middle of the street? Don't change the subject. That's as lame an excuse as why are they called fire dogs then? Or why build a junior school next to a hardware store? Playing the blame game won't solve the problem. Just like you. Don't you think you're exaggerating a little? I mean, that really wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. The problem is not so much what you did this time, but more the fact that you keep doing it again and again and again. You just never learn. And what's worse is that it's rubbing off on me. I'm making the same mistake over and over, too. Thinking that overalls flatter your figure? Forgiving you! Oh. Oh. The fact of the matter is, our relationship is going round in circles. You're going round in circles. I did once think you were utterly unique. Someone who was really different. But at some point, the constant stream of you trashing completely functional things becomes just another one of those things. The glasses weren't all that great anyhow. You almost never get them out. And they've gone a little milky. I could say the same thing about your eyeballs. I'll let you talk if you let me smash them. Does that mean you're not coming to Elysium with me? There's no way we'd get there anyway. Since we've been together, the success rate of your ingenious plans has been the only constant in my life. A straight zero. But I'm gradually beginning to miss my old constants. Like the number of walls I own, for instance. Originally, four. Or the number of hours a day that the kitchen was not on fire. That used to be 24. Now you're being unfair. You still have lots of constants. Five fingers, two legs, two parents. Okay. Now you're really scaring me. I'll straighten this all out, and then you'll apologize. Not this time, Rufus. I'm fed up with going to the mayor for you. Hey, Tony. <sighs> Say something, Bernard. I'm afraid you're on your own there, buddy. <laughs> but no sweat. You'll do just fine. True. If reconciliation was a martial art, I'd have more black belts than a menswear store. <laughs> you sure have training. I'll straighten this all out. Or rather, I will have straightened this all out. Ah, a well-functioning faucet. Okay, yes, I'm so Might be a good idea for you to talk to Tony. I don't particularly want to be accused of being in cahoots with you against her again. Yeah, she can be a real handful when she's like this. Well, she's got that from her mother. What are you two whispering about? Oh, uh, nothing, darling. <laughs> uh, I was just pointing out to Rufus that I don't approve of his behavior towards you. Hmm. Traitor. <laughs> Sorry. You know what she's like? <laughs> Tony obviously inherited her temperament from her mother. I hope the rest comes from Burnett. Except for the ears, teeth, and tendency towards premature hair loss. There, it wouldn't hurt if there were a third player on the field, so to speak. Oh, if only I could turn back the hands of time. <laughs> that is... Wait a minute. I can! Rufus won. Fate, nothing. <laughs> okay. Burnett finally got a new shipment. Why didn't he tell me? Uh, Rufus. Yeah, yeah, right. Letterbox Death 420 Light. Whatever happened to good old Letterbox Death 400? I hope they haven't reduced the amount of black powder inside again. I should check that out sometime. Okay. 
Okay. Rufus, you can't simply dismantle the tap from that tank of accelerant. Sure I can, look! But now it's all pouring into the basement. Ah, oh boy. You know, it seemed like such a good idea at the start. But no problem. I can fix this. Do you have an angle grinder? Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, just leave it for the moment. I'll sort it out later. You're on fire, Burnett. Burnett finally got a new shipment. Why didn't he tell me? Hmm. I'll bring it back once burned it. It's done mopping up. Hutch. Aw, oh, sick! A muzzle loader! Maybe this will turn out to be my favorite Deponia adventure after all! Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. Come on, play Rudy's dental work. Rudy! Rudy! Oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Hey, Wenzel. Hey, Rufus. You fancy a round of rotten fruit game? Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Me, me. Yes, exactly. What about the rat boy? He's not allowed to play. Huh? Why not? Because he's still too young. I have to be going. My coat is slowly starting to smell like your tub of rotten fruit. Hey, Lotto. Call me! <coughs> Call me Lottie! <laughs> Let me have another look at you. Maybe I can think of something else you could improve. Be completely honest! I think you're hmm. fine the way you are. Right. Later, Gator. Uh, oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, uh, my deepest respect, ma'am. Tunnelo! Mission with all. Hey, Rufus. Hey, Lonzo. What's new? Nothing. Just more of the same old thing. Yeah, thanks. I'll pass. No, no. Hot from today. Is there a moment? Yeah, fit. Yeah. Sticky, and I don't even have any cactus bread with me. So you want to be a rat man? Oh, not really. Then I have just the thing for you. What? What, what are you doing? That, that's not going to hold like that. Hmm. True. The plan still needs a little fine tuning. I'll be right back. And don't you go sneaking off into the sewers.
As if I haven't used enough honeyed words on Lottie already. Okay. So you want to be a rat man? Oh, not really. Then I have just the thing for you. So, how does that feel? Silly. Adult. Exactly. So please behave accordingly. Hey, Wenzel. Hey, Rufus. You fancy a round of rotten fruit game? Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Uh, of course. This adult rat man here. That's not allowed. It's a game for adults. I am an adult. Precisely. You can tell by the thick beard. You forget that I've been standing next to you the whole time? That is not his beard. What could be more masculine than stealing a stranger's beard? I say he plays. You can't go over my head and decide that. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Uh, to be honest, it's a bit high up for me. <sighs> okay. He can play. Oh, boy! Uh, I, I mean... Oh, man. On your marks. Rotten fruit at the ready. And... Place! Okay. Now, Rufus has won. Wait, I demand a rematch. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. If I remember correctly, children aren't even allowed to play. And I just happen to know that behind this admittedly rather convincing costume hides a small, ugly boy. Hey! Hey, nothing. Rules are rules. Bring on the jackpot! <laughs> Whoopsie. That was on purpose. Oh, just you wait. Ouch. That stupid rat ate my hunting license. Oh, what bad luck. That was my last. Bad luck? Maybe. In any case, the rat man smiled knowingly. His work here <laughs> was done. This monster ate my hunting license. Just wait. Okay, that's the task. Where's the emetic when you need it? Where's the emetic when you need it? I might not understand why people use a straw, but I pretty much know how they're used. Where's the emetic when you need it? No, no. Hey Rufus. Hey Lonzo, what's new? <laughs> I told you a thousand times already, Rufus. You can't pay your tab off with some old junk. Huh? What do you mean pay? I put it all on my tab. <sighs> Hey, Lotto. Call me! <coughs> Call me Lottie! <laughs> Let me have another look at you. Maybe I can think of something else you could improve. Be completely honest! 
Your legs are too hairy. Oh, my goodness. I... You're right. Huh. It's a good job I haven't thrown my razor away yet. <laughs> oh. ah. Darn, that hurts. Ah. Good job. Hang in there. Ah. Oh, damn it, I'm dying. Ah. I feel for you, buddy. What? Oh. Oh, I just mean... <laughs> oh, this sure stings. <laughs> Pfft, crybaby. Is there anything else? I think you're fine the way you are. Oh, you're charmer. Could you lend me your razor? Not while I still look like... A trash can alien lumberjack! Although, I would probably have more success with a chainsaw than this blunt thing! Right. Later, Gator. Uh, oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, uh, my deepest respect, ma'am. Toodle-o! No! Oh! A rat! Oh, how liberating! I can finally stop pretending and I'm not scared of the little critters! Okay... more prizes. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ugh, the most rotten game of them all. I don't even have any cactus bread with me. Hey! What's going on? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing, nothing. On the contrary, you wear it like a man, rat man. Maybe this will help with your leg hair. Hmm. It's worth a try. Ah! What pain! What agony! Hey, when you're done acting like a sissy, can I borrow your razor? Here! Ah! Here! Take it! I don't need it anymore. Unless I can feel my legs again, anyway. No. Lady shave. Yeah, Should have worked. Now hold still. What? Hey, stop! So, how does that feel, Rat Boy? Uh, what happened to Rat Man? A lot of people ask that question. He was only in town for a short while, and was gone as quick and as quiet as he came. But his brief presence left deep teeth marks in their hearts. Super.
the rat ate my hunting license. Why the long face? You used your hunting license to catch a rat. That's what it's for. And small animals are tricky. Even professionals will resort to high-precision blowpipes for them. Why would I need more proof? You are a genuine, dyed-in-the-wool big game hunter. Really? Of course. You can borrow the elephant gun anytime you like. Wow, thanks. And when I'm finished grilling here, we can share hunting tales. We'll plant rabbit feet into our hair and compare hunting scars. Eh, too bad. I already have plans. What's that meant to be? Something that uh, proves I'm a big game hunter, perhaps? Well, it reminds me a bit of a high-precision blowpipe for small game hunting. And elephants? Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Professionals hunt small animals. <laughs> or rats. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. Blowpipe, darts, bees. Got it. So, let's have a look at what you've brought me. Those are good bees. Just right for a high-precision blowpipe. As soon as you bring me the rest, I'll give you your blowpipe. What's that meant to be? Part of a high-precision blowpipe, maybe? <sighs> Let the expert be the judge of that. As a blowpipe, it's a pretty miserable example. But it would probably do for a talented big game hunter. As soon as you bring me the rest, I'll give you your blowpipe. What's that meant to be? Part of a high-precision blowpipe, maybe? <sighs> Let the expert be the judge of that. That's a decent dart, just right for a high-precision blowpipe. Now we've got everything together. Here is your blowpipe. Have fun with it. Dobra, mamy muchawkę. Can I borrow your elephant gun? Well, now that you are a big game hunter too, of course. Why not? Just be careful with that. Too late. You already said. Idziemy tutaj i do lądu. Oops. <laughs> oh well, whatever works. <laughs> no tak też można. Lonzo, everything okay? Yeah, Rufus, everything's fine. Not your fault. There, everyone heard. No reason to worry. There, his muscles are still relaxing, so I guess it can't be all that bad. Go again? Da, whatever. Worked this way the first time. Killbot mode! Ah. All humans must be exterminated! Ah. Ouch! What's going on? Where is Chillbot? Chillbot can't help you! That loser mode can only be activated during throttle use. Before I let you throttle me, I'll throttle you! <laughs> No, that's lock in place. Lowering killbot brutality level. Holy Whoa! Oh, that's better. Now, I just have to figure out how to activate the chillbot mode. Can't be that difficult. There are only three levels. That's lock in place. Drillbot mode! Welcome to the sun. Ouch! What's going on? You have a little bit weaker. Far more suffering will be inflicted on you, you man. Thrillbot mode. 
Thrillbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Killbot mode! Grillbot mode, come in closer and warm yourself in the fire of your friendly barbecue assistant. I'm sorry, you ain't getting no ice from me, pal. Killbot mode! Grillbot mode! Killbot mode! <laughs> Better not come too close. What? But... Oh, man. Shouldn't this setting activate Chillbot? Well, in theory, yes. But the throttling has given me a chronic processor malcooling. Oh, man. So all I have to do to activate Chillbot is remove the throttle limiter. That would be <laughs> very kind. Grillbot mode? Killbot mode! Killbot! Increasing brutality level! Mold kill! What? No, 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 no! Lowering killbot brutality level. Mold. Okay. Whoa! Huh, oh, that's better. Killbot mode! Killbot mode! Grillbot mode! Killbot mode! <laughs> hmm. Grillbot yeah, mode! Killbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Killbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Killbot okay. mode. <laughs> How about you now? Chillbot mode. Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere, man. Finally, a compartment for paramechanical components, power inverters, strengtheners, that kind of thing. Huh. Uh, uh. Thanks, man. That was real necessary. No, no, no. Ale dalej pójdziemy już w następnym odcinku. Dziękuję wam za oglądanie. Jestem Szarl Przysilba. To była Deponia Doomsday. Zapraszam do następnego odcinka. Trzymajcie się. Cześć.